Well, we're inside my incredibly, very incredibly messy and dirty garage. But we're doing something that I've been meaning to do for a while and we're gonna be unboxing the newest parts that I've purchased for my 2016 WRX. Uh, we're gonna unbox, I'm gonna show you guys what I got because you're gonna be pretty shocked at some of the things that I bought because some of them aren't even, well, I promise these are exterior parts to my car that are paint matte and they are the wrong color and there's a reason behind it. So if you wanna figure that out, stick through the video. And I promise these are something that's gonna be really important too. And we do have some carbon fiber parts. We're gonna start with the two mystery boxes. These are the things that I told you, one carbon fiber, one the wrong paint matched color, and there's a reason why, and I'll explain it, but let's open it. Well, at least these are packaged well. I was super concerned that these would not be packaged well. It's about to start raining, so we're gonna finish opening both of these inside and to check the damage, because we need to get some fine light on these products. And there's another one, but I think I stank you guys. We're gonna be opening both these inside because these are the ones that are carbon fiber and incorrectly paint matched one. These are the coolest things that I bought for this car in a while. So we're gonna move inside so I can inspect the carbon fiber and I can show you guys what to look out for. Uh, let's jump and open the other things and then we'll hop inside and do these under some better lighting. So this has been, this is something that I've been meaning to do literally forever and I'll tell you guys about it because I've got a bunch of plans and hang on, I'll show you first and see if you guys can guess. So. We're gonna pause for a second. Drop in the comment section below what you think is in this box. I challenge you. Guess, don't cheat. Let me know in the comments what you think's inside. Well, hopefully you guessed correctly. It's gonna be something that I've been meaning to do literally forever now, and it's installing better brakes, getting away from OEM, and this is gonna be a little bit of a series that I'm putting together, where, and you'll see in a minute, you'll see in a minute, I'm gonna compare stock brakes and pads to stock rotors and stop techs and then stop techs with stop tech rotors and then faction fab because I'm a huge fan of faction fab. And I think I just revealed what is in this box. Ho oh, ho. I went with the faction fab performance rotors. I've heard great things about these brakes. I am so excited to finally be able to upgrade to something that is a little bit more aggressive. Oh, ho. this looks incredible. All right, look at that. Yeah, so this is the design that I went for. I've heard amazing things about these rotors and with uh, when I pair these with some performance pads, hopefully it makes my WRX there. Oh, that thing looks so good, doesn't it? My tripod's in the way. Great looking WRX, look at those, look at those wheels. Thing looks so mean, it's so dirty. You can see, oh, you can see the lines coming in there, so dirty. Looking good though. Hopefully, it is incredibly improved performance, but I'm gonna be testing this for you guys. is a monster. This is so heavy. Look at this thing. Absolutely incredible. You can obviously see which side of the car does the most braking. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This thing is like three times the weight. Oh, wow. All right, guys. You're about to see some crazy idea that I had for my car. Yeah. Uh, I still am questioning my motives now about my choice to buy this. So this is a lightning red OLM high point or duck bill spoiler. Now it's looking pretty clean. One of the reasons I wanted to make this unboxing video is to actually look it over to make sure it's uh, exactly what I wanted and that it's fine. 
Uh, but you might ask yourself, why did I buy a lightning red duckbill spoiler? Well, the first thing is, and you know, the plant, the you know, the first thing to clarify is that these were on clearance. So I saw it; it was stupid cheap, and I was like, all right, I wanted to. I've always wanted to test a duckbill. So I thought I'd get one, and they didn't have one in white, and only the red was on clearance. So I got red, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm either going to sand it down and paint match it for my car, or I think, well, actually, first I think I'm going to wrap this gloss black with some 3M wrap to see if I like the black uh, duckbill look on the white car. And uh, here, I'll throw one up right now so you guys can see what it looks like. And I'm not sure if I'm a fan of exactly that. So uh, I will also, if I'm not a huge fan, I'm gonna sand this thing down and get it painted to my crystal pearl white. Uh, and again, guys, so cheap, that's why I bought it. But this is not the most exciting thing. Let me open the other box, show you exactly what I'm ridiculously excited about. This is the first carbon fiber part I've ever purchased personally for a car of mine. All right, and here it is. Here it is. It's hard to see. This thing looks incredible. It's super clean. Uh, as I expected, it's just ABS plastic, and then it's wrapped in carbon fiber, like most carbon fiber parts. But look at that weave. Kind of hard to see. Look at that. It is amazing. Really great gloss coat. This camera does not do it justice. This thing looks absolutely incredible. It is perfect. I've looked up and down. This thing is just perfect. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see these parts go onto my WRX, be sure to consider subscribing to the channel.